It, it was an amazing time to live through. It was very emotional. I mean, it was, a, it was an emotional time for all of us. Forty years ago, a festival known as Woodstock took place in Bethel, New York, and came to epitomize the 1960s. Jimmy and Janice are long gone, but they're at the same spot. You can get a feel of what those three days of peace and music were like. It's called the Museum at Bethel Woods and it opened last June on the same Max Yasger farmland where the festival took place in 1969. They have an old VW love bug and they have a magic bus. And look, they even have real life flower children running around. You can learn a lot about the historical, political, and social context of the festival. Or you can just sit back and dig the music. But I definitely felt like I was on drugs just being there. The museum especially seems to touch a chord with people who were young at the time. We lived through the, the assassinations of, of, of JFK, of Martin Luther King, of Robert Kennedy. We um, had friends who were going off to Vietnam. I remember growing up and every night on the nightly news, we, it was brought into our living rooms, the, the, the war, the conflict. There were just so many things going through people's mind that they just... Uh, that they were confused and, and they and they needed leadership and, and what was the reaction of people that you brought here they were really amazed at, at how they were able to capture the decade how they were able to to fit so much information into into a museum of the 60s that I just remember certain things that, that I had forgotten things that brought back you know real vivid memories 